into the scripts and the content themes here. You just import them into the master page in the head tag, and um, they come up as scripts and links. And then you can go ahead and use them throughout your web page. So let's go ahead and try and do that. So let's take and get rid of this uh, accordion control. We're not going to need that anymore. And the script manager, we're not going to need. And I'm just going to go ahead and go to the jQuery website because it has a pretty good uh, it has pretty good tutorials on how to or um, APIs on how to use these things. So I'm going to go to the accordion. And here's their very basic, simple accordion here with some lorem ipsum in it. And uh, you can go to view the source code. It's very simple. It, uh, it just has the script here, which I'll just copy and paste that. And I don't know why, but in um, Visual Studio, you have to declare the type. I don't know if that's true in other um, environments or in the standard environment because I've primarily done Visual Studio. But uh, just go ahead and do that if you're using Visual Studio. And let's just copy this lorem ipsum. I don't need that demo div here. That's just styling. Or you got my own styling. Thank you. All right. So let's just load that up, see what it looks like. Um, get rid of my C sharp code here. Well, let's just uh, let's comment it out for now. Okay. Let's go ahead and load that up. So this is static jQuery. Very simple, very standard. But it looks nice. It's got rounded corners, nice hover on effects. And when you roll your own theme, it will look 10 times better. So let's go in here and uh, kind of analyze what's going on with it. Bring this down. Just go to straight source view. All right. So here we have the, the J, uh, jQuery function being called, and um, or the JavaScript function being called. And it's looking for a control called accordion. That's what this hash um, means. So any control, the first control in here, or any control that is uh, called accordion, it's going to call dot accordion in the jQuery and create an accordion control. So right here we have our div dot accordion. And so everything within this div becomes part of this dot accordion all the way down to here, or down to here, I should say. Div, this class doesn't have an end, so I'll add another div in here so it works better. There you go. So that div is in the accordion controls div. All right, so we have the accordion control. The next thing we have is this header tag, which is just a styling tag. And then we have a link here. And it has a hash for its, um, its uh, link. So what jQuery's accordion control does is it looks for the accordion control, and it looks for the very next um, the very next object that's not like an H um, or a header tag. And it creates that as the um, header. And then the very next object that's like a div, it creates as the content container. So the next object that's a, um, the next object it sees after the accordion is the header. And then that next object is the container. And it keeps going until it reaches the end of the accordion div. Okay, so keeping that in mind, um, 
we have to do a few things. We have to uh, create the accordion div and all of its uh, header and um, content controls using HTML. You can't use, uh, I don't think you can use um, co normal controls. Um, but I found a, a pretty simple way of doing that. So let's go ahead and get rid of this um, accordion control. So the first thing you, my, my first uh, thought was, hey, I'll put this in a uh, placeholder and there it will be done. And I'll just add controls to it and um, I'll just add some string literals to create the divs and everything. Um, but that didn't work actually. What happens with a placeholder is anytime you add a control to the placeholder, it actually adds um, spans in between. And spans triggers the accordion control. So you'll have empty spans that are the headers. And then you'll have like headers that are the content, or, co or the next div is the content. So you have divs that are the content, and it just it just messes with it, and it doesn't look nice at all. So what I found out through some research and a little bit of reading was that panel actually becomes a div when it becomes compiled. It becomes a div control, and you can dynamically add to the panel through C sharp. So what I did is I just said, I'm going to call this panel accordion, okay? So let's just run this. It doesn't have any coding in it yet, but I wanted to show you one more thing about this, um, and it's specifically with ASP. So let's just go ahead and go into Firebug here and look at this control. So we have the RC, and this is our div that we created. This is the panel. It says, see right here, it says accordion one right here. Well, its actual ID is content placeholder one underscore accordion one. And that's because we have it in a content placeholder that is referencing the master page and its content placeholder, which is content placeholder one. So that's how ASP uses the master pages to communicate. It has a content placeholder and then you just insert content into that placeholder, but it messes with the IDs. So we're going to take that ID, content placeholder one underscore accordion, and we're going to go back to our code and we're going to look for a div or an object named content placeholder one dot accordion. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into our C sharp. Let's unhashtag this or uncomment this. All right, so we need to have a header, and we need to have a that will be the um, header class for our accordion, and we need divs to be the content class. The easiest way to make a um, one of the, uh, a head or any HTML in C sharp, excuse me, is to create literal controls. So we'll have literal header, literal to start, and then we'll have literal div end. Alright, let's get rid of this uh, accordion pane here. Don't need that. Alright, so we're going to make a new versions of all these literals obviously in our loops. We'll keep the same loop because you'll be doing the same thing programmatically with your um, with your database calls.
All right, so we create our literals. So the first literal needs to have a specific um, formatting to it. Here it needs to. We'll have a heading tag that will make it big, nice looking. And then we have to have a link here called section one. So we'll just keep that in mind here. And we'll have header dot text plus equals. Let me make sure that's correct. Yeah, it's plus equals. I want to have this. Now it's going to have some quotations in here. So, so in that string there. So we're going to use the uh, forward slash. there to keep going and then here and then we want this section one was the um, actual string that was uh, inside of that control so let's give it our um, hello.txt here instead So we're going to delete this new accordion pane. Obviously, we're not using that. And we're not really giving it an ID. So we have our header. Here. We have our two text objects. Now we need to start our div here. So div start is just going to be a normal div plus equals I'll say div just like that. And then we're going to have div end dot text plus equals oh man. And it's going to be backslash oh, excuse me backslash div like that. And then we have our pane accordion. So we're just going to do, instead of all the accordion header and all that stuff, we're just going to add them in order. So we're going to have, whoops, see daisy. Have accordion dot controls dot add and we're going to add our header the start of the div the text box oops the button Now you can go ahead and make um, string literals. I actually have a class in my in our website that makes a string literal. Um, it makes a, a div in there, or sorry, a break, a page break, um, so that you could add the page break. And um, in between here, so add page break literal. And obviously that'll make a page break between the text box and the button, so the button will be below it. But, I mean, really using literals and um, this pane control, you can add, you can do pretty much anything. You can add uh, 